All right, guys. So we're gonna have a little chat about the designation on mall bearings. Um, not every manufacturer is the same. There's, I usually use mall or cleavite, whatever you want to call it, depending on. So depending on whether they're calling it cleavite or mall, it's the same company. Talking about designations of bearings, um, this is not all of them, but a bunch of them. The most common ones that you would see um, buying bearings. So for you guys that don't know, um, I just did a video on sizing. So I'm just gonna put this one size in there. Um, just there is a reason for that size. So your standard bearing that most guys are gonna use is this, gonna be this first one. These part numbers are for um, a 12 valve or VP44. So not a, they, that's, this is a machined rod, not a, a cracked or fractured rod. The fractured rod is a different part number. Um, a lot of aftermarket rods will use this, or I think, I shouldn't say that, actually, I think a lot of rods now, the aftermarket ones will use either or, but most guys will buy these ones, depending on what, what a first stock, if, but anyways, that doesn't matter. So, going into this right now, your designation on this, so like I said, this one is going to be your stock application P-series bearing, which is a... Going back in the memory bank a little bit here. Uh, P is for metal backing uh, with tri-metal coating. So it's like three layers of materials um, is what P is for. There used to be an A. You could get an A in these. Uh, they don't make the A anymore. Eh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I haven't seen the A in stock in a long time. So I would assume that they don't use it. This is a little bit better bearing than a, like what the, f the factory bearing would be. So anyways, um, now if you get into the next one, um, which technically the next one, I, I kind of didn't write them in order here. The next one would be this one, which is your H for the high performance series bearing that, that Clevite makes, um, which is just a better material. It's a harder material than, um, than the P metal bearing. So it'll take a little bit more of abuse uh, with less oil film. There again, we'll get into, I haven't talked anything about oils really, um, but we'll talk about oil films and strengths and viscosities and all that stuff at a later date. Uh, I'm actually trying to set up something with a couple oil companies um, to hopefully uh, be able to get you guys um, a discount code of some sorts, you know, with that kind of thing. Um, I got a couple companies that I do like to deal with. If I can do something with them, that'd be cool. If not, well, we'll just use whatever. Anyways. Um, so into the H series bearing, which is your high performance bearing. I usually use a high performance bearing providing I can get them just in the last couple of years. They are hard to get just because of the state of the world. Um, now, if you go into the next one, um, actually I did, I missed one actually. Uh, actually, these are the same thing, just so you guys are aware. And I actually missed one. So let me just write it in here. So CB fourteen thirteen H. So your designation um, high performance and X is for extra clearance. So that will give you one thou extra oil clearance. And then going from that one down to the next one, you're going to be um, you can go high performance. K is for coated. Um, but they have two designations for coating. It's the same coating. I think they're taking going away from the C for coating to K for coating. Not really sure what the reasoning for that is, but I've seen that it's superseded. Uh, C will be, um, when sold out, will not be available anymore. So it says on the website anyways. So um, basically, actually, I guess I should just write this out. Just make it easy for you. H, P, X, C, or K or C. Um, so, tri metal, tri metal bearing, HP bearing. Extra clearance, extra clearance. See if I can spell. Probably not. Clearance, one thou, and then coded. So the coded bearing, so that would be the, 
that would be the designation um, setup for them. Like I said, there isn't a bearing tube, but that for what we were going to do for the most part, you're not going to do that. Um, or you're not going to get that, I should say. So now talking in this, so if you had to have the crankshaft ground, um, you, as far as I know in the H Performance Series bearing, you can only grind 10 thou. And then what you can do is you can get an extra thou oil clearance, which I'm not sure why you just wouldn't grind the crankshaft for the extra thou oil clearance, but I guess it depends how good your crankshaft grinder is. Um, but anyways, so that would be 10 thou plus one thou of clearance. This would be high performance coated bearing. The coated bearing is just gives you an extra film strength to the bearing, holds the oil a little bit better. So your film strength is better uh, or stronger, I guess you would say. Uh, I don't know if there's any, anything else. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, I should actually just, hold on one second. I just wanna double check to make sure that I'm not telling you guys. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I guess I do still have, it's an AP. Sorry, I guess I should, I don't know if they have it. This is an 1873 AP, which is, this is the cracked rod. Uh, for the common rail. So this is the AP, which they classify as the aluminum, ba the aluminum bearing. Um, just not quite as heavy duty a material for the A, the AP. Um, but I wanted to look. Yeah, so the P is a tri-metal, tri-metal, and then the AP is for aluminum. Um, so just, I don't know what the difference to be totally honest because this is what we'd usually use in a common rail but then we would usually just use a p in the the 12 valve so i don't know if the aluminum is supposed to be more like a factory a factory bearing or what the deal is to be totally honest yeah so anyways the ap is the ap is the aluminum bearing um which so it just has a dip it's supposed to be technically tri-metal Aluminum lower half and then tri-metal upper half is basically what it is. Um, I prefer I prefer using the high performance bearings, but they're considerably more money. They're like more than double the price. So, anyways, I hopefully this uh, this video helps you guys out as far as uh, the designation side of things goes. So I guess I can write AP in there. AP alloy lower and then upper tri-metal I knew how to spell metal there we go um, so that's basically what that has in there for you so give it a quick rundown your your factory bearing that you're usually going to use is that P unless you're talking common oil and it's going to be an AP you can go into the high performance bearing which is the one I personally recommend if you're going um, you know, if you're doubling horsepower, I prefer to run that H series bearing. Um, it's completely up to you. Lots of guys have made gobs and gobs of power um, on the P or on even the original AP style bearing. Lots of guys have made lots of power on the cheap bearings. You know, something from, uh, you know, um, AIP or, you know, whoever, cheap bearings. Um, so just one of those things, but that gives you a rundown kind of idea what's going on So your tri metal bearing your H for high performance X is for extra oil clearance one thou and then K slash or C So it won't be either it won't be both it'll be either or so K or C is for coated bearing and the AP is for um, Alloy lower or sorry. Yeah, I alloy lower Alloy lower and upper tri metal so Hopefully that helps you guys when you're looking at bearings for what you can see. Um, you know, if you want extra oil clearance or you need extra oil clearance, um, I usually keep um, a set of mains, which is an MS2328HX in stock um, pretty much most of the time because sometimes when we check the blocks, um, the main bore will actually be a thou too tight. So these are this is going to give you an extra thou. Um, so there'll be a in there a thou too tight to suit us as far as our oil clearances go So I always carry a stock set of these in stock if that's the case if I have to use those there is an extra charge for it um, Because it's cheaper to do that than it is to um, Hone the block out Because you're talking, you know, let's say a hundred dollars extra for the bearings Something like that 
um, just off the top of my head versus having to um, line hone the block is considerably more money because it's a lot of work. You got to take all the dowels out and then line hone it, and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, uh, hopefully that helps with you, helps you guys um, kind of designate of what's going on as far as that goes um, with all these. And then I think that most part, whether you're talking King, ACL, uh, Molly Cleavite, whoever you're using, um, will I think they all use roughly the same thing, but you can look right in their right on their catalogs. In their catalogs, it tells you what these things are if you go into the table of contents. I think it's a table of contents. You go into the table of contents and it'll give you the breakdown. It'll tell you where to go for the designation. But this is the Molly Clean Bite setup. Um, anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's not rocket science.